Oh, do you see Plus, police? why new warning labels will soon be required for stuff you've got in your medicine cabinet. Common pavement levers. In tonight's health alert, new warning labels are on the way for some common pain relievers. Over-the-counter medications like Advil, Bayer, and Excedrin are part of a certain class of drugs known as non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. Often, they can make us feel a lot better, but federal regulators worry that long-term, they may not be doing your heart any good. They are often the go-to drug for any sort of minor pain, from toothache down to sprained ankle. But now, the Food and Drug Administration warns that non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, also known as NSAIDs, can amplify your risk of a heart attack or stroke. They let patients know that even using small doses across short periods of time can be a risk. Dr. Alan Taylor, Chief of Cardiology at the MedStar Heart and Vascular Institute, says there's also an even greater hazard for higher doses over a longer period of time. The risk for an individual patient of these drugs is very low. The challenge is that these drugs are in such widespread use in the community that the total risk is actually quite high. Chances are you've got these drugs in your medicine cabinet right now. Perhaps we even take them on a regular basis for some minor chronic pain. But beware, if you have a history of heart problems, you'll want to check in with your doctor. It's very well proven these drugs increase risk. And the reason is because they change the way the body handles clotting, they change the way blood vessels work, and they increase your blood pressure. And if you need them for longer periods of time, you should talk with your doctor. Wow. And best, guess what? If you like to use those medications like the Motrin or the Advil and you feel bad and you just start popping pills, you have to stop doing that. Dr. Taylor says you should not only pay close attention to the dosing instructions, but you should start out with the lowest doses possible.